any other questions? I know this is a fairly short because I was reading it. The more I read, I'm like, wow, how much do I need to dig into it? So I, I thought, you know, by pulling out the common questions that people ask in giving this presentation, it would help a little bit. Uh, does anybody have any more questions? Or any what about questions? the ones with that have got stuff added in because mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. get them with. Turmeric, yeah, vitamin C, even mm. uh, so, um, turmeric uh, and vitamin C. If you see that over there, they are usually sort of a natural um, oxidative. So basically, they help uh, or, or antioxidants, so to speak. So if it is, as we talk about cellular death, so when 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 tissues are not working well, they die then they release all the waste and things like that. So any sort of antioxidants would help with the situation. So vitamin C and turmeric <coughs> for arthritis in general. So those with allergic insight, same thing is really, really hard to say because then this is me being annoyingly scientific. If something works, you add something else to it, it may affect that something that works in the first place. So it's, it's not as though, okay, it's, it's not like kitchen sink when we start cooking. I like pasta, I like ice cream. You don't just see you know, that's all the good thing that oh, yes, that's good, chuck it in as well. It must be better than one. So, you, you know what I mean? So it's very easy. My cooking. It's a lot, it's very I feel it's very easy, you know, for supplements to just Yeah, that works, just chuck it in as well. Yeah, that works. But sometimes when you chuck in something, you make something you have changed something already. You cannot literally just chuck in something with them. So it's but what I would say is that, you know, if it works go for it. You do not know whether it's the turmeric or the CBD or things like that and it's very very hard to have a very objective gauge um, unless you're giving them separate ingredients and you're, and you're wanting to see. So uh, fundamentally so, in the end I'm interested in if it works. So what about that? So we make a nurse surgery because mm. I know yes. I used to give it, she used to have golden paste but she can't have that so two to three weeks either side of the Remind me, yeah, yeah. So, what's in your golden paste? Because I know there's turmeric inside there. Yeah, it's a turmeric, black pepper, and um, coconut, coconut oil. oil. Okay, so the idea behind that is I'm not sure about black pepper. I think that's a, I think if I'm not wrong, I think that's an antioxidant. Oh. Or, black pepper, now what do you put it in? It sort of activates something in there in the turmeric. Okay, it sort of potentiates the turmeric, makes the turmeric more available or better or something like that. So, the bioavailable. Yeah, so more available, so the bioavailable, exactly. So, hard to say, if that works, I mean, I do not know why they say stop it before we use the surgery though, because... Because it's like the acts like a blood thinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough then. Um, so, sorry, and your question is, does that help? Well, yeah, but I'm not sure whether it would be better to like sort of have them separate. Separate? You know, with the, the CBD, CBD oil yeah. well, and the golden combines. paste rather than... It's tricky, it's mixed. tricky. Like, do we take... It helps on. on my bottle, Isla has to have the CBD two hours before she has any of her other supplements. No yeah. all natural as well, but she has to have the oil by itself so it um, does what it should. Yeah. So it's not affected by anything else that she takes. And just to be clear, you, thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, one bit which I didn't mention to you under what is available. So as far as I understand, CBD, it's a sublingual dose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you, so you which, with the dog, you rub it on the gums. Exactly, yeah. which means that it's absorbed through the gums, not in your gut. The moment it's swallowed, it's useless. Um, okay. Okay. So that's why for humans, yeah, they ask you to put it under your tongue. Yeah, you, put it in. you put it on the side of the cheek pouch. So it's also yeah. it, it transmits yeah. into the system, yeah. transmucous yeah. membrane. Yeah. So it goes through. Yeah. So it, it, it doesn't get digested in your gut and go to the system. It has to go through your skin. So that's why you don't. They don't swallow it. That's why they, they make. They, that's why they don't make tablets. It's always like an oil that it is more likely to hang around your mouth, or like a paste that's more likely to hang around your mouth rather than a tablet. Does that make sense? So, so that could be why 
Mm. They say not to mix it because you want it to have the full effect in the mouth area. And so uh, but, but certainly if it goes into the gut, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So at this moment in time, the dosage is still transmucous membrane or something good. So it's not oral, yes, a real oral base, but it's not really, it's not really digested like orally to be available to the, the body. That's what I did. I put it under my tongue. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's yeah. the same. I mean, that's usually the instruction to say yeah, put it under your yeah. tongue. Yeah. Yeah. So th thanks for reminding me of that. So yeah, so it, it's not an oral well. drug, so to speak. It's so, something. So to your question, of whether you mix, it may be, it well could be that if you give your oral paste, the mouth is full of oral paste. It will be the oil. It's just um, it, it, it's not as focused compared to a clean mouth. Yeah. Putting CBD oil in doesn't make sense. Maybe that's why you say don't eat with other things. Maybe sometime. Yeah. Good, good, good point. Any other questions? Do yes. you have any that you would recommend places yeah. getting it from? So, um, so far the only source that we've used is Chemidor. Mm -hmm. That's the one because we go through there and they have a lot of information on pets. Mm -hmm. Whereas, um, that's Amazon. <laughs> what is it's, uh, it's, a 19 Tinder? A yeah. healthy pet shop. Yes. Mm. Yeah. If you go there, she can get it for you. I mean, you can probably get it from a lot of different places. So the question is, um, how? See, the, how the raw feeding vet Nick. Yeah. Um, he said, um, Kennywell. Kennywell. I've heard Kennywell. So. Yeah. I don't know, but what's up with, I know it's more of a human shop, but I don't know whether they, there's quite a good shop in Newton, isn't there? My husband goes to it. Oh yes, the yeah. ones in Barra, I wouldn't give them so all my old yeah. Yeah. But I don't know whether they are any good for <clears throat> how much they go for dogs and cats. They've got yeah. they do but they want it to be that amount of money for the pet one and the guy in the shop actually tells you you must buy the human one. Yeah, the pet one was something like 46 pounds and the human one, which was exactly the same basically, was a lot cleaner. Yeah, so there is a lot of source really. It's like a it just depends on where you go. It's without something random of any medication, antibiotics, amoxicillin. The human one is pennies. The animal one is much more expensive. So, um, and I think, and, and this is me try. I, I mean, I have no stock in there, so you know, I don't want to push anything. And the, the biggest reason behind that is just um, trying to regulate it. Because if not, anybody can come out and put a label, say CBD oil, which is no difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially, it's not even a medication, it's a supplement. Mm -hmm. You don't even need a prescription for it. So, and you really have no idea what the concentration is, you have no idea, I mean, you really have no idea, basically. It's just like buying something off the street. You don't and know what else they might have put in yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly, that's exactly. So, so, I mean, that's me just putting out my 2P worth of why some things are regulated, some things are not regulated. Um, but uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of perfectly okay drug, human drug that they use in animals for so long, mm -hmm. and suddenly they make it animal and hence you check up 500%, yeah, you know, and, and make it a legal requirement for bats to use that because you have to go through the cascade yeah. before prescribing something. So that one makes everybody's life very difficult. Mm. That's I like can, anything, as soon as you, yeah. soon as you put, put, as as you put, put a dog specialist. Well, we see from like, and I mean, it's down to poo bags, isn't it? You know, you can go and yeah. take yeah. lumps and things. Yeah. That's no, that is that. Yeah. So, so it's it's it is an, this same product for dogs or humans, but it's just about dosage and what's appropriate. And what is more available. Right, okay. Because what how our gums are different from dogs' gums. So have they actually tested? Have they put some into our mouth and measure how much we have it in our blood? and do the same for the dogs. Mm. What's the bioavailability for it? Just because I'm eating it doesn't mean I'm getting it. Mm. Um, cows eat grass, try when we eat grass, comes out exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> you know something horrible? <laughs> but, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, just because it is something available or some, somebody else, we can't just keep using it and thinking it's the same thing, you know? It, it may be the same thing, I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying there's zero bio, uh, bioavailability, I'm, just, I'm saying nobody knows. So I think that's that's where it gets a little bit. Um, that's where we all talk about, you know, evidence-based medicine, 
uh, try and error, so find something that works, keep doing. What else are you doing? And, and what may work for your dog, may not work for another dog, yeah, and is it because of that? So, so it, it is very, very tricky, really. It's uh, one of those things. And, um, so when yeah. the, stu the, not the study that you said, said that it had sort of zero side effects, mm. well, obviously, yeah. that's in humans, humans. we don't know in Everything I say over here is all in humans, by the way. Yeah. 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 Everything I say always on humans, and, and so certainly, like I said, the use in humans extends much, much more than what we use in animals, yeah. because we only understand it that, that that little bit. So all the effects, all the side effects and things like that, is on humans. I mean, it's it's hard to tell you whether a dog is mm. high or not. I know some dogs are probably well, high. Yeah. So, yeah. so what what is the the was it canny dog? Kenny Dolls, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's the one that we will uh, ring them up, okay, and we will order from them. And because they have been, for whatever reason, uh, that that particular company is recommended to me by uh, another vet who specialises in pain management, and she's been using that with her group of vets using it. So that's and hence it's been recommended to me by that. And because they've been using it quite often with that particular company, the company has managed to accrue quite a lot of data and able to give out um, training sessions to say, okay, this is what we've found, this is what we've found, this is what we've found. And yeah, it well could be the same pace as humans, uh, but the information is different. So it's and a paste? So that one is a paste. Rather yeah. than oil. And you have to it's rub that on the gums no, as well. The whole idea that it's a paste, because uh, you can't really swallow paste that easily. It's, uh, anybody try to swallow toothpaste? Mm -hmm. It's nothing, just... Mm -hmm. So it, so it's because of the paste, and uh, and I believe for the pet one, they may even flavour it, and hence the, they, they can sort of put it inside there. And, and like I said, that's, we use that because that's one of the, the most evidence that, that the crude over the time. Yeah. So it is just CBD made into the paste? I can really it's CBD, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, without something random, CBD is also manufactured, it's processed. It just happens to be oil, mm. but you can make it into a lot of different things. What sort of price does that compare to sort of CBD oil? Um, the more expensive, more expensive. I think they come in same again. They they have a hundred doses, okay, and they have got three different strengths, and the uh, retail and these are recommended retail from them ranges between forty to sixty to hundred, depending on the strength. Four hundred doses. So, yeah, so that's the video end. Can humans have that as well? <laughs> Good question. I've been asked whether it's the same for that. Yeah. Would you want to keep the person in the mouth? Yeah, yeah. You do.